All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Real Hook Set Outdoors. Today we're out here at a little neighborhood pond. So I recently found out that there was some catfish in here. We're gonna try to catch them today. I got my son Troy with me. I was gonna go bass fishing today, but it's a little bit too windy. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me a little bit better because I did get a wind mic. So hopefully that helps with the audio quality, but we're gonna get into it, guys. We got some hot dogs and some shrimp today. We'll see what works better. Throw a couple things out there, so stay tuned. So I'm gonna show you my setup. So we got a circle hook tied on here, which is kind of a beefy old rod. I use only my old stuff for catfishing because it gets all gross and nasty. All right, so we got 20 pound braided line. And then we got these Carolina keepers right there, that clear bobber stop looking thing. And then we got an egg sinker. Nice thing about this, it's adjustable and these guys are pretty cheap. So I recommend instead of using a swivel or something like that, use this setup. It's pretty universal, pretty easy to set up and it's cheap. All right guys, so we're gonna start out using some shrimp. I already got one cut in half here. These are still frozen, so they'll start to dethaw in the water a little bit. Um, we're gonna throw this on the circle hook and we'll see what's in here. I don't think the fish that are in here are really big, but I did have a buddy catch a little flathead out of here. So I'm hoping I'll at least get a flathead if, if not a channel cat. Okay, so we got the shrimp rigged up. And for this one, guys, I think I'm gonna throw it out kind of towards that timber over there. Oops, that was not where I wanted to put it. We'll go do that again. The wind is making this uh, pretty difficult. Watch out, bud. Okay, we're not gonna get it much farther than that, so. We'll let it sit right there for now. Get it set up in a rod holder. And there we go. All right, we'll do my son's next. On his, we're gonna do a hot dog. I got him set up with a bobber and a split shot, which hopefully in this wind is not gonna go too crazy. All right, guys, so for his, we're gonna use a little chunk of hot dog. I don't have a circle hook on these because I ran out of circle hooks, but I think this uh, mosquito hook will work for this. Okay, this is yours, bud, so you gotta watch the bobber. Okay, if the bobber goes down, you gotta go reel it in. <laughs> All right, guys, and for our last line, we're gonna go, well, we'll just, this one's a little small, so we'll just go ahead and throw the whole thing on there. I don't know how well that's gonna stay on there, but we'll give it a shot. Okay, and this one I'm actually, I'm gonna walk down a little further. Um, I'm gonna swap it with this line because I do want one that's kind of going back into the creek area over here and back into the timber. So we'll let that one sit over there and then we're gonna move this one. All right guys, so if we don't get a fish here, uh, probably 20, 30 minutes, I think we're gonna move down more towards the creek area, towards the timber. Um, the fish in here are spawning. I know that because my buddy caught one and had eggs coming out. So um, they might be a little bit further back into the shallow water. So we might end up moving, but well, we'll see what happens here. All right guys, so I think we just found a better spot. We're gonna go ahead and move right now. Ugh. This looks like a way better spot. <sighs> The spot looks better. Good shot. Thanks. Okay. 
There's that right there. Okay, let's go get our other ones. Ugh. Get a little bit of a workout in today. Oh crap, you have a fish. Yeah. Here, here, real. All right guys, my son's got one. <laughs> He's got a good little one too. Hey, wait, wait right there. Oh, Troy, he came off, bud. Let's make sure he's not stuck on the bank. Oh, I almost fell in. Okay, you had one. We got to get it back out there and try to get you another one, all right? Okay, guys, my son had one, and uh, he broke off when he was reeling him in. So we're going to go ahead and get this back out there around the same spot. And uh, at least we know they're biting. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and check this one again, make sure our bait's still on there. Oh, we got a fish. We got a fish. It's a little one, but we got one. Oh, little catfish. We gotta get this bait out of his mouth. Here he is, guys. Um, honestly, it's hard to tell because he's so small, but I think this is a flathead. Look at his head right there. I'm pretty sure it, that is a flathead. What is your head? I just see his head. Yeah, that's a flathead. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. If so, this is my first flathead. But we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, hook out of him, guys, and yes. get him back in the water. It's so cute. All right, guys, he is bleeding a little bit. Um, hard to tell if he's gonna make it, honestly, but we're gonna get him back in the water. If not, he's so little, he'll be fish food. There he goes. All right, guys, we're putting a hot dog on this one this time. Um, this is the one that I've been casting out to the bank over here with shrimp, but unfortunately it hasn't got us anything yet. So I think uh, we'll give it a shot kind of more out in the open with a hot dog and see how that works. Hey guys, it feels like we have something on here. Yep. Hey buddy, we got one. There we go, guys. Looks like we've got another little catfish here about the same size. This pond is just full of these guys. Oh, he's a little bit bigger than the other one. Oh, no, he's probably about the same size. Touch him. Touch him. too much. You got him, you can do it. There you go. Wet. Yeah, he is. Too wet. Let's touch him again. Oh crap. Ah. Guys, he's gonna fall in the water all by himself. Yep, there he goes. Quick release. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to, hold on. Alright, there he goes, guys. Alright, guys, we're gonna. Get ready to head out here, so reel this in one last time. Hopefully there's a fish on it, probably not. And there's not. All right, so caught a couple, lost a few. Pretty typical day of catfishing. Um, very small fish in here. I don't, I don't know if it's just because of what we're using or what it is, but you know, at least we caught some. Yeah, how many fish did we catch? We caught two. All right guys, so that's just a little pond right behind my house. 
perfect little spot to take the kiddo fishing, get some little catfish. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, please stay tuned for the next one, guys. Hopefully we'll get on some bigger fish next time, but that's just the way it goes. I'm not gonna not post a video for you guys because we only caught small fish because that's just not the way fishing works. Um, you know, I want my channel to be realistic, show you guys what I actually do, um, and I have a lot of fun doing it. So once again, thank you for watching. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done that already, and we'll catch you guys next time.